Today for dinner, um, I'm cooking. I got my nails done. I saw that. Um, hey, Jim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, God, Jesus. Hello, back up. Huh? Good girl. This is my girl. Um, I'm going to make chicken and dumplings for dinner tonight. I don't know where to look. Uh, which is exciting because I haven't. I feel like I haven't really, like, I've cooked, don't get me wrong, but it's like, you know, things that take time. I haven't done anything that's really, like, time since Thanksgiving. So everything's just been, like, kind of, you know, less than an hour. Uh, and this is going to take about two. So I'm going to get up here in about 30 minutes and get that going. And that'll be nice because it's the first time I've ever made chicken and dumplings. You know, first time I've ever had chicken and dumplings. Um... But yeah, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use uh, this cookbook, Erin Jean McDowell. I follow her on Instagram, and now I own both of her cookbooks. She has this one, and she has the book on pie. Um, oh God, hi Willie. He just like jumped up on me. That's what. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna use that recipe tonight. Um, and we're having a very chill evening, very chill day. Uh, which honestly I kind of really need. So I'm getting some stuff done around the house, laundry, dishes, running the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher, just kind of like operational stuff, household stuff. Um, but it's just like really nice to be done with going out for the day. Today, tomorrow, it's not true. It's today and tomorrow that are like that. So essentially just, it's nice to have today and tomorrow as like, when I have to leave the house, it's just for like one thing kind of in the morning and then you come home. Um, tomorrow I'm donating blood. So it doesn't, it doesn't take me that long to do that. Um, but I'm drinking, I just poured myself a glass of red wine. Uh, I always drink red wine before I donate blood. Like always the night before. Hello June. Oh my God. That's my uterus. Thanks June. Um, I always drink red wine um, before I, like the night before I donate blood, they recommend red wine, broccoli, and or steak. So I typically do broccoli. Um, I had my first piece of Wagyu last night and it like, I shut my senses down. It shut my senses down. Like it was, it was, I've just never had anything with that kind of a palate coverage and that kind of like a mouth feel. It was just so, I've had things that could taste like the butteriness with butter, but I just never had that. And I was just like fully overwhelmed by it. So I'm really grateful I only had one piece cause it was, it was like, you know, you're basically being microdosed essentially with it. Um, but that was really wise. So, so yeah, um, going to do some country cooking this week. Just, like southern staples for dad and me so it's gonna be chicken and dumplings it's gonna be um biscuits and gravy and make like a green chili sausage gravy with uh deer sausage that 
um, Jeremy went hunting and he shot a deer. Um, I'm really proud of him because having gone, going back into meat, having been gone for so long, um, responsible consumption is very important to me. So knowing your food, knowing how they were raised, all that kind of stuff. And a friend of ours has hunted his whole life, has a, has a deer lease. And, um, bless you. Thank you. Excuse me. And he, um, he took Jeremy. So he was like pretty much as ideal as you can get. Like Jeremy shot him in the heart, shot the deer in the heart, didn't suffer, dropped. It was, you know, processed immediately. Like everything was done like perfect. So it's a really good like start to, you know, if you're going to eat meat, you should know what you're doing. And at least that's my personal belief. Like I don't want to, I don't want just this absent kind of blind consumption. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm going to try deer sausage for the first time in my sausage and sausage gravy, biscuits and green chili sausage gravy, which is probably going to be tomorrow. Um, yeah, so that'll be fun. And dad really loves homemade biscuits and nobody really makes homemade biscuits anymore except for me. And, um, my aunt who I haven't seen in a long time. So yeah. All that to say, it's going to be a very mellow couple of days, which I'm so ready for. And then mellow, but like not lazy. You know what I mean? Just kind of homebound um, for the most part, which is great. And then getting ready for the holiday party, wrapping up some presents, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I totally didn't show you the wrapping I did yesterday. I haven't showed you any of the wrapping I've done. Um, but I am cognizant of like... I don't want you to have daily, I feel like everything I'm seeing for Vlogmas is like 30 to 50 minute long videos every day. And I'm like, dude, nobody has time for that. So I'm trying to keep mine a little bit shorter. So this talk is not aiding that. <laughs> just me today doing this so no kid commentary or anything like that sadly but let's do for number six did we do five yes no we didn't I have five and I have six okay so then let's look at what those are let's see which ones I want to eat five is so sorry for that Piemonte nope Piemonte Praline bonbon. This is fun. This one is a Marcona almond date. All right, I'm going to do the fifth day. Not the sixth day. I'll circle back. Maybe tomorrow. I'm super tired. So, yeah. Let's do day five. So, if you got something that we can use in the next few days to rip or a box for whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like. Perfect. You sure you don't want those, Dad? What? Are you sure you don't want this? What is it? Pimonte praline bonbon. Nah. Mm -hmm. I'm trouble twenty for a careful leaf. You're on your own, huh? It sort of tastes like 
if Ferrero Rocher was like really good, yeah. like not like Home Depot shelf stable, you know what I mean? Yeah. I did five, right? Mm-hmm. No, I didn't. Today Man, we skipped. Six. We skipped five. Oh, perfect, because six is a toy. Well, let's do five. Can we hold this? Yeah. Make sure it's capturing from this. Make sure what? It's capturing this and the dogs. All right, puppies. Good boy, Duke Duke. Good boy, Willie. Good, sit. Good boy, Duke Duke. Good girl, June. Good girl, Mama. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, Willie. Good girl, June. Good boy, Duke Duke. Everybody's taking food very gently, too. I appreciate that. You is. Sorry, sorry, Duke. Sorry, Duke. That wasn't fair to you. Duke, Duke, Willie, and you sit. Good girl. Not for you, it's for your sister. Here, Mama. Thank you. All right, that was your day. Say, bye everybody, see you tomorrow. Look at them. Mommy, where's the rest? <laughs> you were so spoiled. Keep the damn toy, we want the food. <laughs> look, look, look. Okay, fine, I guess we'll take it. <laughs> oh, wow.